I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so. Did you feel anything? Pardon? Did you feel anything? Actually, I didn't feel anything no, really. coming uh-huh. in, but what I did feel was my body reacting to oh. different, different stuff. Uh-huh. Like mostly my fingers and my hands. Uh huh. Wow. Double of glitches and other various parts. More like the effect of rather than the source. Did you ever have any skin rashes? Oh god. <coughs> I forgot about that when he asked me on the nurse painting. They came out, they used to have uh, the Z pack was the latest thing, three horse pills for you know, the antibiotic stuff. They switched to a four pill thing called Tequin. Uh, they had flaxes and big fuckers. I took one the first day. Nothing happened. Second day, I take it, and I wake. I wake up in the morning, and I'm scratching my belly. I never scratch unless there's an insect or something. I didn't pay attention. Took the third one. In 15 minutes, my fucking body started to break out in hives. Mm. I was on a 80 milligram Benadryl haze for 30 days. I uh. took all my clothes off, closed all the fucking windows. I would gladly have filleted myself. How long ago was this? Oh, God, this is uh, five or eight years, five oh. years ago, or something like that. But I mean, just, uh, God help me if I ever took the fourth one. I, I definitely would have slit my throat. <coughs> something like I've never experienced before, just hives all of my entire body. Mm. So, house dust, allergy, you may have a slight allergy to house dust. My Typical. dog's too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dustin, being an Aries, you're, you're given a pretty much bulletproof constitution because of all the stupid shit you're going to do and all the rules you're going to bend. So, uh, most concerns that people have about cleanliness or disease or shit like that, that's fine for you. It doesn't bother me. I can give a fuck. I, right. I survive almost anything they throw at me. Yeah, yeah. Fire sign credo, I guess. This actually has a prayer wheel inside it, so we can start the prayer prayer wheel. So, like the Tibetan. Oh yeah, no, I've been to many stupas and Buddhas and Kathmandu and other places. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. Nepalese are the incredible people. Most of the places I used to hang out for about ten or fifteen years: Afghanistan, Pakistan, Thailand, places like that. Uh, you can't go there without being killed anymore, no matter who you are. Well, uh-huh. So uh-huh. those experiences and those times are only locked in here. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's kind of like Mexico. Yeah. I went down to Mexico to a friend of my dad a couple of times, and I can imagine what it's like right now in Mexico City. Oh, no. Mexico City, even then, I hated it. It was just a filthy, dirty, corrupt, nasty place. Uh, I drove down to Belize twice and back with my buddy uh, who was getting his master's down in Belize to a study of conscious. Of course, they had no scientific equipment in the fucking country. So he said, we have, a, we have a laundry list, and I go to the supply house in San Francisco, load the truck up, oh. and drive oh. down, and spend a week or two, and then come wow. back. But, uh, yeah, same weird thing, uh, uh, oh, most of the countries, lizard countries, I call it, like uh-huh. LA. You get out from the green water ponds and shit, it's all mesky, it's all dry stuff. It's a uh-huh. desert, pretty right. much. And, but you drive along the coast on either side, and like you go to the Gulf, and there's Villa Hermosa, is one of the first ones you come to. You see these people that cut down branches off trees to make fence posts on them, just stuck them in the black earth, and they start growing trees. Oh, really? <laughs> it's uh-huh. Unbelievable stuff, yeah. Really neat. And uh-huh. yeah, the people, of course, are. Then all the bad shit comes up later on. You know? That's how it was in Mexico a long time ago. Everybody was close oh, family stuff. So absolutely. I don't know what happened. Man. I don't know, but uh, they didn't sure as hell didn't improve the quality of life down there for them or anybody else. It's been so long since I've been down there. Me too. <coughs> 
Do you ever take a sulfur uh, su supplement? Good for decoction? Okay. Yeah. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm, when I talk about a lot of these things, I'm just doing, sending you the balance of the energy. Um, it just send you an electronic signature of, of sulfur. I said to draw you. No, I, uh, it, just, it just gives you a little depth. Of it. And, uh, iron, iron came up high too. You mean I have too much of it? Well, no, it's. You're you reacting to it. Usually, when you react to it, it means you're deficient. Selenium, typically, people are low in selenium too. Selenium is one of those nutrients that are not commonly found in commercial foods. Right. You need to have vitamins too. <laughs> um, no, my diet is, is, is shit. It could be lots worse, but I'm uh, just too busy zooming with it attention to all the rest of the stuff, so, but my body seems to process it, and I'm still in here, uh -huh. <laughs> that doesn't mean it couldn't make it better than quality right. of life. Yeah, I know, because I remember my mom, she used to say, it's like, you're, it's like, she didn't actually say, no, I was saying, but basically her indication was like, you're too much in your head, you're spinning off the edge, you know, it's like, don't go there, you know, it's like, sit down, Time to call it a day. You're spinning off. It, it was, it's it was like uh, I had a couple, a couple guys in New York that were like really, really top of the pile of uh, shrinks. And a couple of them got turned on to astrology, and before they would see a patient, they'd do the fucking chart. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yes, and see what the person was made with, what they were dealing with, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like people, oh, you all the, you're too speedy, you're lightning fast, and all this other bullshit. I go, I mean, anything about astrology, I am almost a triple Gemini. Fuck at the speed of fucking light, visual, mimicking, you name it, all that stuff. That every time you open your eyes in the morning, that's what your brain is doing. It's just flooding with all this stuff. So to tell me, well, why should be real slow and mellow like a Taurus? I go, are you <laughs> fucking insane? I just seem to slip my throat my wrist at the same time and be operating at that level. Although, when I visit those places, I can immediately identify the good it's doing me uh, and what's missing right. in my life. But trying to hold back that racing team of horses is one hell of a job. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they give me 12th house moon, which is like, like being a Pisces only with... I've been with Pisces before, and they... My God, your emotions, they change every split second. Well, guess what? That's Gemini, and you put me in the 12th house, emotions and feelings and compassion and all that, and it just blows them out of the fucking water. They're really deep people, but they live in that water all the time. But they can't relate to somebody that they really can't live there, be there, and the, moon, the moon's aspect changes every two hours on this planet. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, yeah, you expect consistency <laughs> and straight line, flat lining. No. Uh -huh. <coughs> mulberry. You may have a mulberry allergy. Really? I've never around mulberry. Yeah. Never around a mulberry. Yeah, yeah but it was maybe the palm. Typical areas, they just say is slightly inconsistent with the normal division. They just blow off and keep on marching for the most part. <laughs> I got time for that shit. Yeah, I'll deal with it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so lymph exercise. The yoga is good for lymph exercise, but it's showing a little stress in the lymph. Lymph is good.
back and put next with this one over here. And my mind and the body connects all these things to get a greater picture. It took me 30 years to realize that in the end, both philosophies get you to the same place. Because if you're just going out that one, everything is connected and it will ultimately connect to that one yeah. branch. So you still get there. But it's a matter of what your tools are, who you are, and how you're going to get there will determine which path. And these are the only two to one down the line. So asbestos is coming up high. <coughs> really? So you uh, got to be careful about that dust, man, you know? People, uh, I don't work with, I mean, uh, I probably would, if you paid me <laughs> I don't like to work with drywall because it's got asbestos in it. Really? Oh, yeah. For the last few years, I've been around a fair amount of that, uh, not heavy for long periods, but definitely some exposure. Also, the rental has asbestos siding on it. Uh -huh. And uh, Excellent. most of it's dead or coated or painted and stuff, and I didn't stay around it. But I, I certainly I don't get all you know, suited up with the oxygen mask and the gloves right. and all this yeah. other crap. Yeah, it's, it's tricky. I mean, if you get a job, you know, you kind of want to get it done quick, you know, and put a different suit of clothes on, it takes a lot longer, you know, it's like. Depends on what you what you consciously even if you think about it consciously what you believe your tolerance or armor is made of. And if you're afraid every time there's a spider in the room and you fucking run and hide, well, you ain't gonna make it very far or too long. Right, right. If uh, they're biting you as you're leaving the room and you're beating them off with a club, as long as they get out past the door and they're gone, I'll go for it. <laughs> People, especially the LA people, come up. Oh, there's spiders in my house. And, stuff. <laughs> and I go, hold the phone. If you live in Humboldt County, I don't care if you, you're homeless and live in the bushes or you're in a billion dollar mansion, you are going to live with spiders because they were here first and they're not going anywhere. Yeah, I got, a, I got one in the corner of the room and I just leave it there because. It eats the flies. Yes, <laughs> yes. It forms its function well. Yeah. I got bit by oh, I was looking in my bed one night, my lady, <coughs> just about to nod off. And I felt something brushing on my arm like that. And I didn't see any bones right when I smashed it. Went to sleep. Woke up next morning, I got a little shitty brown and tan spider. Mm. And all of a sudden, they start to get a bunch of oil, and the oil starts getting uh -huh. bigger. The fucking brown recluse. Whoa. Yeah. Around here? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, I guess I didn't get that much juice or uh -huh. whatever, but uh -huh. people are always paranoid down in LA about black widow spiders. I'm going to go with the shit. It's dark. You spider. Okay. <laughs> That's your fear, not mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a big thing to be afraid of when you were a little kid sometimes. Oh, yeah. People yeah I remember the first time I was out in San Fernando Valley and the folks farmed us out. It's my 60s and foster homes while they were working. And they just come over the weekend and yell and scream at us and get the shit out of us and send us back again. This is country, you know, powdery dirt that big. A half an acre small farm. These people had two kids. They hated fucking kids, but they took us in because they needed the money. And I'm walking around barefoot down the driveway, and I see all these red ants. Oh, I've never seen red ants before. And next thing you know, when it gets on my little toe and it bites the fuck out of me, I'm like, whoa, what is this? I gotta watch out for these guys now, is that it? Yeah, that was indeed. Yeah, oh. well, the really shitty ones uh, I found are uh, in the Army, was in Fort Bliss, Texas. Lizard country, and they got these little what we call piss ants, teeny little fuckers you can barely see. They'll little run around, they'll be all over the fucking place. And once you get about 10 or 15 of them on in, they don't bother you, they bite nothing. They send out a fucking chemical signal, and they all bite at once. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, 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 I, I uh, see you guys coming here, you're going to make short work of you. Huh? Is it, are they actually called piss ants? 
that's not, that's what people refer to. Oh, uh, okay. Like this is. Normally they mean something really teeny and insignificant, but it's, they're describing the piss ant. It doesn't look like it do any damage or, you know, not much bigger than a gnat that they haul ass. <laughs> There's always a bunch of them around. They scurry all over the dirt watch them. Okay, you want to go through some visualization with me? Sure. So basically what we're going to do is he's going to start talking about some things and stress in your life. He's going to refer to the stress as an allergy. So basically when he says, when is the first time you experience a symptom of an allergy? We're going to turn that, so we're going to turn it so it's, when is the first time you experienced stress? The, yeah, it's a trauma that may have influenced your lifestyle from then on. Yeah. Start about three. three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so takes a couple of minutes. Yeah. And it also does the therapy when mm -hmm. you're doing it too. So.
invited me to uh, one of her friends. Oh, well, Clifford was, up to the time he was three, he was as delicate as fine china. What happened at three? The father took me down to Central America to get her doctor, his doctor degree for three years. It's a uh, half of all three, three boys, eight to 20 months apart. As soon as you started to develop, you were precious and everything else until you started to develop your own personality. And the world was on it. It wasn't just, oh, you're a bad boy, or oh, you're not going to get yeah, ice cream today. You feared for your life. And even worse than that, I was the only one that got it. You are trying to steal my murder, my soul. Mm -hmm. And as a warrior, 